the signs are up, and a total of 21 candidates are vying for your vote for mayor and council in the 2016 Swift Current municipal election. In today's feature, we continue our profiles of new candidates asking for your vote for city councilor. Matt Nicholson has lived in Swift Current for 20 years. He's the owner-operator of the Canadian Tire Gas Bar and Smitty's Restaurant and coaches minor football. Nicholson says the issues at the forefront of his bid for city council include the city's debt. I think a lot of people are very concerned about, you know, um, our per capita debt. Um, and, and not that that's a, an absolutely horrible thing, I just think that it's something that a lot of people would like to see addressed. And I'm not saying I'm, I'm out there to correct it overnight and to cut services and to uh, uh, put people out of work or anything of that nature. I, I just think that, you know, I'd like to take a look, I'd like to help out and uh, like to find ways to, to, you know, in good times it's pretty easy to do lots of great things, and uh, uh, which we've seen in the city. And I think uh, that when times get tough, I think that you got to, you know, tighten the purse strings a little bit and just figure out where you can extract savings, uh, uh, you know, and maybe use those to improve services in other areas. Nicholson adds he enjoys living in the community and would like to see the city continue to flourish with additional amenities. I think it's unfortunate that, you know, when we did the IPLEX expansion years ago that, you know, I know that there was something of an opportunity there where we could have done a, a complex with a, a rec center and, and that is something that I would love to see for, you know, to promote, promote family values and so that people can get out there and, and do things as a family. And I think that that's important as well. And I, I know now in our current economic situation, it's very difficult, uh, but I'd like to see that in the future and something that, that's a priority of ours. Our next candidate in the spotlight is Bruce Dagg. Bruce Dagg is a sales consultant for Cypress Motors and president of the Swift Current Ball Club. Having volunteered for various organizations throughout his life, Dagg would now like to represent local residents on council with an honest, down-to-earth attitude. I think I have a strong level of common sense based on some of the experiences I've had in the past. So I, that's going to be my platform. There is certainly some more specific things in this city that I'm, I'm passionate about. I really like the growth of the city that we've had in the last uh, decade. Um, I like the, the amenities that we are maintaining and, and continuing to grow. Uh, things like the hospital and the meadows are very important uh, amenities to the community that are going to make this community attractive to people to want to come here and, and live here. Uh, I think we need to make sure that the business uh, acumen or the uh, business um, atmosphere is very uh, pleasant for other community or businesses that like to uh, join us here. Dag further says he supports various initiatives involving youth as they are the future leaders of the community. Uh, specifically, you know, Boys and Girls on the Move that the city administers. I think that's a very good program. It's get, you know, uh, the uh, center in town here is great. Uh, the new Dory House is, is just fantastic. And, and the initiative that the uh, city took regarding safe places is, is it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a leader out there. And it, no other city has started something like that. And we're, we're leaders that way. I'm very proud of that. And I think that's a great uh, initiative. And, and another one that I would support. Wayne Cormier has called Swift Current home for 11 years and is the executive director for the Early Childhood Intervention Program for Southwest Saskatchewan and offers men's counseling services through Southwest Crisis Services. Cormier says his day-to-day -day job involves strong administrative skills and the ability to be a good listener, qualities which are important for any member of city council. Being a councillor or mayor, is more than just running city finances and the business of the city. It's connecting to the citizens so that they can stop you on the sidewalk and they can go, hey, Wayne, what, what's happening with this? A lot, some citizens don't feel that they have that latitude or that, um, that ability to do that. I want, I want everybody to be able to access me when they need to, but also be reassured that I may not get the resolve that they want, but I, I will take it before senior management at City Hall and before the council. They can, they can be guaranteed, so that's why they should vote for me. And as he embarks on his campaign, Cormier says there are a number of areas he'd like to address if voter confidence gets him a seat on City Council. Transportation, the expansion of the transportation hours a little earlier and run a little bit later. Um, especially for some of the residents that live on Southside. They're having a hard time making that 7 o'clock shift. And 
some of them work until 11 o'clock at night and uh, they can't afford $20 both ways for cabs. The other thing is I want to take a, I want to take a look at um, our, our revenues, um, the amount of revenues that we generate uh, each year and how much we're spending to service the debt. If my numbers are correct, I'm hearing somewhere around that 70, 75 million debt. And that's a fair bit of uh, money. So I think uh, we just want to sit down. If elected, I would sit down with council and mayor and the senior management team at City Hall, and we're going to look at that debt and see if we're, uh, we're on target. Southwest TV News will continue to profile the candidates running in this fall city election in future episodes, all leading up to Election Day on October 26th.